His name is Sean Taylor. He has a big heart, massive passion for people, for London, and for his music. And he's a really hardworking guy. So would you please make him feel very, very welcome. Sean Taylor. <laughs> My baby left me, I find a new place to dwell At the end of long, the street is heartbreak hotel Feel so lonely, so lonely Feel so lonely I could die It's always crowded. You can find yourself a room for the broken hearted lovers who cry away the gloom. Feel so lonely, yeah. Oh, I feel so lonely, I could die. Clerk is dressed in black. They've been so far down lonely street, they ain't never coming back. Feel so lonely, so lonely. Feel so lonely that I could die. Oh, now if y'all baby leave you, and you gotta tell the tell, take a walk on our lonely street, the heartbreak go till. I feel so lonely, yeah. Feel so lonely, I could die. very much. Well, believe it or not, I didn't write that song. <laughs> I reckon you knew that though. It's lovely to be here. Is everyone okay? Yeah. It's lovely to be in this little oasis in uh, Chesham. This is a new song. Battle cry right across the land where armies stand hand in hand, singing peace over war. Twist and turn and try to earn a pathway which is yours to burn, cause good times they lead. I ride from the fury, if 
you got no guts, no glory. Stay down, whatever trouble come to you. Feeling high and feeling low, I don't know where to go. Spread your wings and feel the flight of love. I hear all the man, the woman cry. Sure look like a good place to die. Woken from this dream, I see it's not as I want to be. It's a derelict scene of brokenness. And the sky is Picasso blue, and all I do is think of you and every inch of your eternal being. I close my eyes again and see both you and me now heavenly, together forever and always. What you do, do with soul And an ounce of rock and roll I turn my voice to song And dusty ether I hear all the man And the woman cry Sure look like A good place to die I hear all the man And the woman cry Sure look like Good old place to die. On my J45, I will make the whole world come alive. Better than any poison in your blood I gave you all I can And I ran right along the road With them lovers standing true But don't We howl out the blues It's time to shine Make it right With mystic visions that are cut with light Everything here is for the taking Feeling hot and feeling low I don't know where to go Spread your wings and feel the flight of love Hear all the man and the woman cry she look like a good place to die Hear all the man and the woman cry she look like a good old place Thanks a lot. Well, uh, those first two songs uh, are from a new album I have called Flood and Burn. And uh, the album was recorded in Austin, Texas. And I travel to Austin, Texas every couple of years. <laughs> Texas is home to some of the greatest musicians ever. Country musicians like Towns Van Zandt, Steve Earle, and Willie Nelson. Blues musicians like Johnny Copeland and Lightning Hopkins and Stevie Ray Vaughan. This song is a celebration of all of that stuff. This song is called Texas Boogie by way of Chesham. <laughs> it's the Chesham Boogie. Chesham will feature in this song, just to be warned. <laughs> And I sing them blues. I went all the way to Washington to sing the blues. 
with a little bit of Texas boogie right for you. It's down our body, heard of Stevie Ray. It's down our body, heard of Stevie Ray. You know the heavens shine every time it play. We're gonna rock, rock it all night long. Oh, we're gonna rock, rock it all night long. We're gonna rock it till our backs ain't got no bones. Till the bass on out on Congress Street of that old Texas boogie gonna get you high And it don't matter If you lit on that whiskey or wine Oh, Lightning Hopkins sang the blues so well You know Lightning Hopkins sang the blues so well He got a song right under his magic spell guest me this evening, one of my favorite musicians, an unbelievable musician. You're going to love her. That's freaking me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's someone to spite my drink. <laughs> that's me on, that's me. On, sorry. Okay, never mind. That's one for the bloopers later. I would like to welcome on stage the incredible Miss Hannah Piranha. And I hide behind my songs And all you fine folks never do me wrong When the lights go on I play Until my dying day I howl like a dog at the moon The best laid plans Try to make amends Will you help me Be a 
better man Or the best laid plans I will drive To make amends Will you help me Be a better man Take it home. I'm too scared to go. In case I miss my chance to sing to you, it's a slipping mile inside. And then I start to hide behind whatever poison rocks my soul. The best sleep land. Cross your heart and break it tonight. Speed up, speed up all night. Lay it roses, red roses light. Who can guess why follows or get it free tomorrow? Up and be free tonight. There's a bad light. Never find it all. There's a bad light. Never find it right down on me.
Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> well, that is freaking me out, Richard. <laughs> Sorry. It's my diva moment. <laughs> Being on the 30-second del delay is kind of scary. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it in life. Not unless you're at Glastonbury. Someone's giving you something. Um, this song is inspired by Mr. Simon Cowell. <laughs> You'll hear it. It's called The Cruelty of Man. <laughs> this is the jazz song for the evening. Simon's fallen over. This is my... Uh, drifting into jazz. You know that right down here Oh, why time it all went out There ain't nothing left of this old place Since it all burned out Witnesses were called But they were already dead They were drugged on Wi-Fi phones And television sets So let me lay this on you It is time to mourn For the poets who are gone But their words we can't ignore Never understand the cruelty of man. I could never understand what the cruelty of man. The master's work was beautiful, but it's all gone now. It's time to take a selfie and let the imitators take a bow. Oh, I must have missed the meeting where it was all decided That karaoke Simon rules the world underrided Oh, I know he's got talent, don't you get upset Make all the boys so hard and make the girls so Maybe this is all we got left Or maybe it's just a dream I will rattle my chains Till I finally break and free Understand the cruelty of man. You never understand the cruelty of man. Beggar's belief There must be somebody up there Who plants all of these seeds Every type of religion Every kind of regret Everybody's got a theory But ain't nothing worked out yet So give me all my fantasies And give me sacred vows I snort it through a filthy But poison on ice
This song is inspired by a great blues musician, a guy called Eric Bibb. Really cool guy. I've done a lot of gigs with him around Europe, and um, I listen to his songs every night, and this song happened. It's called Hold On. It's all too late You might slip You might slide You might fall down by the railroad side Hold on Hold on Hold on Hold on You might turn You might take It's all too late You might slip You might slide You might listen to Otis Span on the broken moonlight Hold on Hold on
you very much for that. We're going to do two more songs in this set. you got a choice. You can have romance first or craziness first. What do you reckon? Romance. Good call. <coughs> Four play. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wrong. wrong, wrong. <laughs> I don't normally say that. Gigs. This is a, a sweet and romantic song in the set. It's called Perfect Candlelight. It's going to be followed by the dark and crazy one. Seen such beauty, seen so much pain, and I felt that love in a pouring rain and touched your body and tasted your kiss. Live with your darling in perfect bliss, and I. Many years ago in London, I used to play these gigs that were very strange. I'll elaborate in a minute on that. Fiddle with my pedals. <laughs> Technical talk. <laughs> it's always magical to come to this gig here in Chesham because it's a little oasis at the end of the Metropolitan Line, <laughs> which is a good thing. It's a very magical place to play, and we always love coming here. And uh, But as a musician, you often don't know what you're going to walk into. And... Um, Many years ago in London, I did these gigs that were really kind of, if I had to use a word to describe them, be kind of dangerous. And um, it's kind of exciting, but also a little bit, you know, dangerous. And I did these gigs that, um, hard house raves that were kind of epic nights. 
and uh, the people were great, but the audience was kind of different than you guys. You, 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 you're, you're, you're really nice and, and with it, which is a good thing when you're playing live. <laughs> you want the people to see, you know. It's a kind of requirement. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> but these gigs were kind of mad, because uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the hard house rave circuit, I don't want to presume, but they have a main room. They have a main room where the DJ plays incredibly loud music from about 10 in the evening to six in the morning. And uh, it's just very, very loud music. And they often have a chill out room. And I used to do the chill out room. And I used to go on at three in the morning and finish at six in the morning. I used to play this next song for three hours. <laughs> There's a different vibe in here tonight. You're not going to fall for that. They did every time. <laughs> it was easy money. <laughs>
We're gonna have a little break. I have some. This song is the French song. Good Le Rouge Illinois. Just rest easy, you'll have your time. But God, the hope, the fear, the tremble right inside the light. to the stem, from the branches to the leaf, and every promise that is carried inside the beauty of thee. When I'm looking at you, darling, my heart it dances upon a wave of the pain of fury, the passion and the glory, we are slaves. Set and the massacre of leaves was the tree's last breath. Thought thou lost and alone, and then we find a home with friends and foe, sharing every high and every low. It's, uh, it's very, very special to have Hannah here on stage. Um, we've been playing together for about four years now, I think. Is that right? Yeah. I first heard Hannah play live uh, in a venue in Yorkshire, and she was playing with another band. And in footballing terms, I poached her. Which means you're watching another team, and you're watching the striker, and you're thinking, I'm grabbing the striker. So, yeah. And I heard her play, and I was like, oh, my God. So magical. And... Um, We've been playing together ever since, and uh, it's a real honor to share the stage with her. And 
it's great as well because I play a lot of blues festivals around Europe and it's phenomenal to bring a violin player to a blues festival. If anyone's been to a blues festival before, there's about 400 million lead guitarists in most band. <laughs> and the solos last for about a millennium. <laughs> and it's great bringing a violin player along because they think, oh my God, what's happening? Where's the solo? And she solos, she, as, you, as you've heard. <laughs> It's so much fun bringing a longer violin player. So we're going to give you a a blues classic with a violin twist. Wow, that is terrifying. No, I'd collapse. <laughs> Look at that. This song is dedicated to one of the greatest blues musicians ever, a guy called B.B. King.
we'd like to dedicate this song to a friend of ours who, could, who couldn't make it tonight. Um, a friend called Mandy Carr. But everyone please turn around and wave at the camera like that because she's watching at home. Hello, Mandy. Look at that power of the power of the microphone. You didn't even wave. You. You do be too busy eating the cake. But thank you. No, it's right. I'm not finding a diva moment. Hello, Mandy. This song is for you. This is this is a uh, a new song. The song is called Life Goes On, and um, I like to describe this song as the Optimist Blues. <laughs> very much well for about 10 years i've been trying to write a song about the beauty of the ocean and the beauty of the sea 
Um, it's been going on for 10 years. I've been writing this thing. It's got about 400 pages. <laughs> it's never going to end. It is a sea shanty to end all sea shanties. <laughs> and I've never finished it. And it goes on and on and on and on. And I like bits of it, but I'm never going to be happy with it. <laughs> but about four years ago, I came across a poem by a great Irish writer, a guy called W.B. Yeats. William Butler Yeats. And he wrote this poem called The White Birds. And this song was, this poem, or so, I say song with W.B. Yeats because so many of his poems fit music perfectly. And I think the, there's a band he's done, The Water Boys, I think have done an album of his songs. And I'm not surprised because he's such a great poet. And uh, this poem about the sea says everything I've been trying to say in my 400 pages. <laughs> This song is dedicated to anyone like me who loves the ocean and loves the sea. I know there's no sea in Chesham or where I come from in North West London and Kilburn. There's been a few leaks in the roads, but that doesn't count. Thames Water can't take credit for this. That we were my beloved White birds on the foam of the sea And we tired of flame of the meteor Before it can fade and flee And the flame of the blue star of twilight It hung low on the rim of the sky As awakened on our hearts, my beloved Sadness and it may not die. A 
change to the wine birds I'm no wonder in fun <laughs> All right. We've done the C. This is a song I wrote called Feel Alright. The love is dead with the breathe and breath in the secret lips. She got the brightest blue eyes, sweet as soul tricks. Go look at the stars when it warms.
Is everyone doing all right? Hot up here. Okay, you've all been so lovely this evening so far. <laughs> so far is the important part of that, part of that sentence. I know, it's going to get nasty. I've been in Chesham. <laughs> Past 10 o'clock, it all kicks off. <laughs> but this song, we're going to have to ask you to help us out. This is a uh, blues song by one of my heroes, a guy called Skip James. Skip James was born around the turn of the century. He was born around 1901, 1902 time. And Skip James did a bunch of recordings in the early 1930s. But didn't do as well as he thought they should do. So he disappeared for 30 years. And he was rediscovered in the 1960s. By a great guitar player called John Fairhey. And Skip James is one of these artists that you should listen to late at night. He's got that kind of late night feel. Great singer, great piano player, great guitarist, great songwriter, great singer, great everything. He's got this incredibly high falsetto voice. One of these don't try this at home voices, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've got double glazing. But he nails it, you know. He's got this one of these incredible voices. This is going to be the deeper version of Skip James. This song is called Hard Time Killing Floor Blues. Skip James wrote this song about the Great Depression. I started cracking a joke about 10 years ago. I'll be playing this song in 20 years. You know, it makes sense. I'm going to stop cracking that joke. <laughs> Just a real. But the chorus of this song. But we are going to join as one. It goes like this. And oh, oh, oh. and oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 your turn. And oh, oh, oh. and oh, oh, oh. and oh, oh, oh. sounded good. Hard times here and everywhere I go. Times are so bad, like never ever been before. Singing, oh, and oh, and oh, and oh, and oh. Drifting out from door to door, can't find no heaven. I don't care where they go when they say, Oh, everybody, oh, oh, oh. and oh. Gotta be so sure. Hard times they might come on, knock down your door. When they say, Oh, and oh, 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 everybody, oh. Bring it down for so long when 
singing happiness <laughs> seriously who do you think you are <laughs> that was a joke don't worry some audiences you crack that joke they think God, this guy's a bit harsh on us <laughs> a few years ago I had this thing I used to do and I stopped it because it was it, it backfired I used to whenever I do a cover I'd always tell the people wherever I was playing that whoever did the cover was from that town and I was playing a place in Surrey called Lingfield, which is famous for a race course. And I did a, a bunch of covers, and I did a blues song. I did a blues song by John Lee Hooker, I think. I said, oh, John Lee Hooker, you know, it's interesting because he was actually from Lingfield. <laughs> you lot laughed. They didn't laugh. <laughs> and then it got darker because I said I did like a kind of, I don't know what it was. It was a kind of uh, Bob Dylan song. And I went, yeah, Bob Dylan, yeah, also from Lingfield. No one laughed. <laughs> And it went on and on, and I got to the point where I said, I went on about Bob Dylan and Johnny Hooker and Bob Marley. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> owning a flat in Lingfield. At that point, someone in the front row got their phone out and started thinking, this guy's, I'm, ch I'm Googling this stuff. <laughs> they haven't asked me back. <laughs> Bieber didn't live in Lingfield. Did he? <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> You're gonna add it. You can do that. <laughs> Bob Marley went from Lingfield. John Lee was though. <laughs> then he moved to Chesham. <laughs> Just for a while, a couple of months. Flat share. He's flat sharing. <laughs> Plot thickens. Well, I wrote this song about the end of the world. But like most things like that, it's quite complicated. And um, when I'm writing songs, I always look for strange things to look at and, and, and weird sentences to kind of put into a song. And I was watching TV one night. I came in to the front room and they had a film on where the guy from the Billy Elliot films in the Billy Elliot films. He was starring in a film where he, he had a baseball bat and uh, he was in the pyramids in Egypt. I don't know what the film was. I, initially, I thought he'd had a kind of breakdown as an actor and it was just on the news. But, that had, no, it was part of this film and, um, and he was time traveling and he ended up in the pyramids. 
And I was like, whoa, that's kind of interesting. Seeing the kid from the Billy Elliot and he had a baseball bat. So I thought, I'm going to write that down. Seeing Billy Elliot with a baseball bat. And then a few months later, I was uh, where I live in northwest London, a place called Kilburn. And um, there was the famous, he's an Olympic athlete, a guy called Chris Akabusi. Great name, Chris Akabusi. Got a great sound, you know. And I saw him, I don't know if he likes Chinese food, but he was standing outside a Chinese takeaway near where I live. It's, it's not a takeaway, it's a really swish restaurant. And I saw him and I was like, it's Chris Akabusi. And I saw, I seen Akabusi eating Chinese. And I loved that line, I just thought. And I didn't see him eating Chinese, he was standing outside the restaurant. He might not even like Chinese. Just as Billy Elliot might not like baseball bats. But anyway, I was thinking about the end of the world and I thought these events are too strange. They're clearly connected. I told you it wouldn't be simple. The end of the world's a complicated affair. And I wrote this song. This song celebrates the famous tuning by Skip James, which is... <laughs> it actually does. It's called the D minor tune. It always goes out of tune. <laughs> Sharing secrets with the cats, I lost my dignity. So the for life. You know I lost my dignity. So it on for life. I got a car, I was heading out west. Three days drinking, I got trembles in my chest. If I won the lottery, I'd give it all to you. You know that if I won the lottery, I'd give it all to you. Because I Oh, 
a song by my favorite songwriter, a guy called Tom Waits, not from Chesham, <laughs> despite the rumors. Tom Waits famously said he likes beautiful melodies telling him terrible things, and I agree with that. <laughs> He also said there ain't no devil, only God when he's drunk. I agree with that too. This song has been made famous by a TV show called The Wire. It's called Down in the Hole.
Well, uh, kind of two thirds of what we play is songs that are written by me, and I generally do kind of about a third or a quarter of kind of covers that sound nothing like the original. And uh, for me, that's the only way to do covers. I've got, I get really bored by watching people who do covers that sound the same way. I got really hooked on an album a few years ago by a woman called Cat Power. And it was called, uh, I think, the Covers album. That makes sense. <laughs> <coughs> and it was all these cover songs that sounded nothing like the original. And it's the most amazing record. And from then onwards, I was every time I sat down to do a cover, I was like, right, I like this song. But I like it so much, I want it to sound nothing like the original. And um, this song is one of those songs. This song initially was uh, featured in a musical called Carousel. And it's been made famous as a football song. Never really <laughs> About four years ago, I was playing the Liverpool Irish Festival. I have some Irish family who are from Liverpool. So I jumped in quickly. <laughs> and I got a gig on Liverpool Football Club television. Which was a bizarre experience. I was on number channel 754. I know that channel too, yeah, I know, I've heard that joke. <laughs> really, it's, I got it wrong. I know 7.54. But I was on air with um, a famous footballer, a guy called Jan Mulby. Any football fans, <laughs> anyone who doesn't understand football that makes nothing. Jan Mulby was a centre midfielder, the guy who's just standing in the middle of the pitch. And he was great because he'd stand in the centre circle and just ping balls all over the place and he wouldn't move. <laughs> it was great. But we were on this channel together. It's completely true. We were on a forum together. There was me, Jan Mulby, and a guy from... It was one of these shows like X Factor. And I was like the kind of strange guy in the corner. Sat there. And I 
said, oh, so, uh, and I was really nervous because I thought, I liked football a bit when I was a kid and then when I was 16, I went to Glastonbury, 2000, and it, things kind of changed. I kind of lost all interest in things like that. I just went into music and that was, that was it, you know? But I was really nervous because I thought, I am a Liverpool fan because I am, when you choose a football team, you have to stay with them even if you don't follow them, which I don't because I went to Glastonbury when I was 16 and I've never been the same since. And if you buy all my albums, you'll know why, because it's taken me, uh, you have to buy the albums to find out. Complicated situation. <laughs> but they started asking me about football and I was really panicking because the last football match I went to was in 1999. And I remember it because it was at Anfield. It was Liverpool versus Newcastle. And I remember the match really clearly. And then I said to them, I went to Glastonbury in 2000. I think they kind of panicked because they thought, Oh dear, we went to Glastonbury, this isn't, there's not going to be a football conversation at the end of this. For anyone who doesn't like football, most football conversations start with, at the end of the day, <laughs> the lad's done well. My conversations weren't going that way. So this is, I did this song for them, they quickly put me on and said, just play. <laughs> And it was funny because they'd never had ever had music on this channel. It was, it, was, it was a really bizarre experience. And as I started playing, I'm using a thing called a delay pedal there, which is great. Hard house ray pedal. But I started playing this song and uh, the presenters, they'd never heard anything like that. They'd never, they'd never heard music that did this. And I started playing it and immediately the presenter looked terrified and she turned off all the sound because she said, that doesn't sound right. And uh, it was a brutal review <laughs> that thankfully wasn't picked up um, on the TV channel, but it was for me, and I had to kind of guess what I was doing, which was even more fun. So this is a psychedelic football song.
stops the way Don't ever be afraid of the dark discussion <laughs> well thank you so much for letting us play for you it's been a real pleasure uh, we're gonna do one more song massive thanks to Richard for ha having us at his beautiful venue thank you <laughs> and Jonathan on the sound doing a lot of gigs together recently. Hannah's been getting some really great reviews on our gigs. It's been really funny. She's got some great quotes that are really mad. One of the best ones was, was it? Grappelli on drugs. <laughs> I love it. I won that review. <laughs> <laughs> Hendrix on violin. That was good one. Yeah. And then there was, we did a gig in Scotland once and there was a drunken guy and he said, because I love watching you play violin. What do you say? Sexy like a snake charmer. That's it. Sexy like a snake charmer. His wife was in hot pursuit and uh, <laughs> nearly kicked off. Well, this song is, um, this is another sing-along song, so you have to sing along. You ain't got a choice. This song is about being a traveling musician. It's called Troubadour. The chorus of this song is where we are going to join as one. Are you ready? Yeah. said, are you ready? Yes! Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your turn. Yeah. Doll's tail stretching out the tide. I walked the borderline between love and fear and death, and all that is alive singing, Yeah, 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 Darling, 
are you okay? She said I'm right as rain Just as long as you're by my side I'm walking down the way Poems they will renew It's cold morning dew It leaves diamonds all over The horizon just for you Singing yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Ride the road in the rain each and every day With a guitar upon my back and an old fedora hat This troubadour's adventure takes you to Chesham and back Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for letting us play for you on violin, Miss Hannah Karana. Thank you very much. The curtains came down and then they went back because everybody's making so much noise. Sean, they wanted more. Yeah! Alright then, cool. we can do it. <laughs> Couple more. Couple more coming Yo. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I never have a set list and uh, just wonder what happens really. <laughs> Professional. Well, the new album is called Flood and Burn. It's a very happy title. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're going to sing you the uh, title track.
you pray for sunshine you know that it's gonna give you rain if you pray for love he will give you pain all I want is some peace but you know he's got some other Now I'll be walking right down to my makeup with a shotgun in my hand. the big adios Oh Davy got Bethsheba Now we know who is the boss The cold and the con They always go straight to the top We are going to do one more song because uh, I heard this song actually on the sound system before we started and I thought I have to play this song. This is one of the, my favourite songs ever written. It was made famous in about 1946 by a guy called Tennessee Ernie Ford. It was called 16 Tons. And this is another song that sounds nothing like the original because that's the best way to be. But if you know the words, you can sing along.
horse are made out of mud A poor man is made out of muscle and blood Muscle and blood, skin and bone A mind that is weak and a back that is strong Your old sick speed turns What do you get? Another day old Deeper in debt Sam beat it on calm Because I cannot go Oh my soul Sixteen sons, number nine coat, straw by set. God bless my soul, good Lord, and sixteen sons. What do you get? Another day old, deeper in that sand, Peter, don't call me. Can I go? Oh, my soul. summer you guys played out here in the yard (laughs) because it's an indoor show and what have you uh it's a very different thing from when it's outdoors but when hannah started playing the first time i think i'd heard you playing outdoors it became a like a haunting affair hairs on the back of my neck what a uh, just just (laughs) extraordinary (laughs) extraordinary 